So I need to get my hair colored. I have broken out and I have a zit above my lip and we're going to pretend that all of that doesn't matter. Hey guys, I'm going to do my spring favorites today. It's kind of a random collection of things that I've been reading, watching, I've got some beauty favorites. Um, so it's a little bit random, but just things I've been kind of obsessed with over the past couple of months. And since it's springtime, I just wanted to share them. So first up is a beauty favorite. This is a really cute travel size of the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. It's got a plastic brush that's curved like this. And I think with this, it's a wet formula. So the trick is that you just have to take your time and not be too impatient like I usually am with these things <laughs> or a lot of things. Um, if you curl your lashes, then just start at the very bottom and it really lasts all day. I'm wearing it right now, in fact. And um, I think I'll probably end up repurchasing this in the full size because I just like it that much. Next up is a book and the book goes along with an experience. So if you've seen my top 10 healthy cookbooks video, you'll know that I'm pretty obsessed with Deliciously Ella and her first cookbook I absolutely loved. I still do, it's one of my favorites that I reach for all the time. And she came out with a new cookbook called Deliciously Ella Every Day. And you can see I've already gone through and marked my favorites, um, there are a lot. And the coolest thing about this cookbook is the fact that I got it signed, um, which is just, it was so cool. The book itself is fantastic. I've been slowly cooking my way through um, and again, coming up with a lot of favorites. And the idea with this one is that it's meant to be food that you can prepare quickly or prepare ahead because I guess the complaint she gets a lot is that people feel healthy food is just difficult in terms of time and organization. So with this book, she's trying to address that. And so far, I just, I love it. This very strange thing is called Sansa Vieria. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's very low maintenance so far, which is the main thing that I like in a plant, <laughs> that I don't have to water it or just think about it basically too much after I bought it. As I carried it through the store, everyone was staring at me. A couple of people asked me, what the heck is that? <laughs> um, and I was like, I don't really know, but I need to have it. It's just odd and it looks like, um, like talons or claws or something. Just ignore the little planter because it's the wrong size. I still have to get something else, but um, yeah, I'm just kind of obsessed with succulents or plants that just need very little care. So if that's up your alley too, you're not really a green thumb, um, then yeah, highly recommend the, the sense of the area. There is a book I read this spring that I found so wonderful that I have basically recommend it to everyone that I know. So I wanted to recommend it to you as well. It's called Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear by Elizabeth Gilbert. She's the one who wrote Eat, Pray, Love, which many, many people have read and enjoyed. I think I'm the only person in the world who's maybe never read that. But the idea is that everyone is creative. There are no creative types. We all are creative. We all have um, an innate kind of need to create. And she just wants to give you permission to really tap into that, whatever it is that you like to do, however you define creativity, however much time you wanna spend on it, to just go for it and not worry so much that it's right or perfect or sellable or that someone else will like it. it, it none of that really matters, it's just the act of creation. Beyond fear kind of sums it up. We all kind of feel like maybe we're not good enough or that the things we create are not original or someone else is already doing them better or, whatever it is, and this just is very freeing. I found it a really, really positive book. So um, if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then definitely read this. I saw a movie with a friend recently. I'm sure you know this story already. It's one of my favorites, I just love it. And I was a little bit nervous to see the movie because with any adaptation of a you know beloved story or book, there's always a little bit of fear of what they're going to do with it on the screen and I had that feeling but I can tell you I loved it. It's beautiful looking, I thought it was moving. I just thought that they were really careful with the kind of soul of the story um, and they kept that very much intact. There was one part I have to admit where I was like, Ugh, oh no they're losing it and it, it, they recovered, it was fine. I, was, I won't tell you the part, I don't want to spoil it but if you're looking for a new film to watch then th this one was just wonderful and just full of heart. Another thing I have been loving this spring, loving doesn't even begin to cover it, I am just completely obsessed with this blush. It's from the drugstore, it's L'Oreal Paris's True Match Super Blendable Blush, and this is in the shade Bare Honey. 
this I saw recommended by Estee Lalonde, whose channel you may know. I think it's about, I don't know, $10, so it's not expensive at all. And it's really natural looking. So in spring, you know, you just want kind of at least I do like back to basics, bare skin, very, very natural looking makeup. And this does the job. I think they also have a quite a large color range. So even if you're not super pale slash transparent like I am, uh, then hopefully there's a shade that you would like to. Another great thing about spring is it means another issue of my favorite magazine. I think it's fair to call it my favorite magazine. It's The Gentlewoman. It only comes out twice a year. It's got long form articles absolutely gorgeous photos. The quality of this, like it's the kind of, it's oversized, it's the kind of magazine that you wanna keep around. Um, I discovered this when I lived in Australia and I loved it so much that I paid to have my issues that I'd collected, you know, shipped back to Canada. <laughs> which I don't mind telling you because I loved it that much. And as soon as I get my hands on it, I read it cover to cover with a cup of tea or something. There's a show on Netflix that I have been so obsessed with that I have watched it twice. It's called W1A. It's on Netflix and it stars uh, Hugh Bonneville. I hope that's how you say his name, who if you've seen Downton Abbey, you'll, you'll know. It's pretty short. So it's two seasons of I think five or six episodes. So it's not a huge time commitment. If you love British humor, um, a la like Father Ted, Faulty Towers, all that kind of stuff, you've got to watch this. It is so funny. It takes place at the BBC. It's all about the management or really mismanagement of the higher ups at um, the BBC and how they develop content and everything. Give it a try and hopefully you'll like it as much as I do. Next up is a candle. This is by the Patty Wax Library Collection. They did a whole line of authors and then put together the kinds of smells that I guess they thought that those authors evoked. So I'm obsessed with Jane Austen, as you might know from some of my past videos. It's the Jane Austen candle and it's the travel size. This one smells like gardenia, tuberose, and jasmine. And obviously the, the packaging, the branding on this, I'm a total sucker for. It's got a Jane Austen quote. There is nothing like staying at home for real comfort, so. I'm done for. One of my favorite movies that I saw this spring was a new Michael Moore documentary called Where to Invade Next. USA, yeah! I love Michael Moore, I love his films, and this was no different. The idea is that he goes to other parts of the world, other countries, and invades to find the best ideas that that country has and claim them and bring them back to the US so that the US can have them. Mostly I felt really uplifted and hopeful about the world, I think everyone should watch it. Those are all of the things I am loving this spring. If there's something you are super obsessed with, please share it, leave a comment down below. It's this time of year when I just wanna try a bunch of new things. So um, I'd love to hear what you are watching or reading or listening to. So do leave a comment. Please subscribe as well if you haven't already. And I hope you're having a wonderful spring. I'll see you in my next video. If your mascara is better than your sex, <laughs> does it make sense? If your mascara is better than sex, it sounds like there's a problem. <laughs>